we have already found the discharge expression for a single acting reciprocating pump. For a single acting reciprocating pump, the discharge Q we found out, Q theoretical in fact, so that is equal to ln by 60. L is the stroke length, A is the area of cross section of the piston or cylinder, N is the rotational speed of crank in RPM in SI units. The unit of discharge is meter cube per second. For a double acting pump, it is uh, approximately twice this, that is 2 ln by 60. In this session, we will try to find out the work done by the pump per second. To find out the work done, what we do is, we will find the weight of a liquid lifted, liquid uh, lifted per second multiplied by the total height through which height through which liquid is lifted, height through which liquid is lifted. is lifted and this is the very simple equation we study from school classes so weight of liquid lifted essentially that is the weight flow rate so you have the discharge q and if you multiply this with rho it you will get mass flow rate and if you multiply this by rho into g you get weight flow rate so this is uh, Rho into Q is mass flow rate in kilogram per second and once you multiply that quantity by G it will become weight flow rate and this is the unit of this much quantity is Newton per second multiplied by this multiplied by the total height through which the liquid is lifted and that is the suction head plus delivery head total static head we say so this one, this is in meters, obviously Newton per second into meter, you will get the quantity Newton meter per second, that is joule per second, that is watts. So rate of work done, this is nothing but power required, power required to drive, required to drive the pump, drive the pump. Of course, this is minimum power required. Minimum power required to drive a single acting a reciprocating pump is rho g q into this. And this in expanded form. So you can write uh, the power required to drive P minimum for a single acting reciprocating pump. You can write this as rho g then q is you know that ln by 60 so that you can substitute over here into hs plus hd this is a p minimum required to drive a single acting pump and this quantity multiplied by 2 will be will be the power required to drive a double acting reciprocating pump and a very important thing to note is that the work done per second is uh, proportional to this quantity once you fix the pump dimensions and all then you can say that this this part as in this is a power minimum this you can write this can be written as rho g a n by 60 multiplied by l into hs plus hd and we require this expression later to prove that work done is proportional to therefore this for a specific reciprocating pump this quantity will be constant so therefore this work done per second is so you can say that the work done per second will be proportional to per second is proportional to this L into HS plus HD proportional to later on we will draw a diagram called indicator diagram for which this will become the area enclosed within the indicator diagram so